Bless up, fam. Bless up. I need to give you an update on chickens. Um, I know it's been a while since I dropped a little something, but I did want to give you an update. So right now, if you look back here, uh, chickens are gone. Yeah, they're gone. And it's not the same without the chickens. Uh, it's like every morning I wake up, which has only been one morning, uh, I look for my chicks, right? So let me share with you what happened. Chickens are getting a little bit big and they're growing like crazy. I wanted to expand the run, right? So I bought a dog cage and I was gonna convert it to a nice chicken run, right? So I started putting it up, I put it up, got it together. And once I got, I was working on the roof, the screen on the roof. I knew something was wrong when I pulled in on my trailer because I'm in the RV spot, right? And I noticed that there were three neighbors that were gathered and they were watching me, which I don't know. It's almost like I'm, I'm YouTube in the RV. Everyone watches, see what I'm doing. They see the plants, they see everything. So, so you all, you, I'm gonna switch it around. You see the plants. You see we still about this plant life. You still see we still out here growing, right? Y'all see what's going on, right? But with that said, it draws some attention. And the last thing we want is attention because when you're on someone else's property, you got to abide to their rules, even though they can make up those rules. Like we signed nothing. This is a pay-as-you-go type situation. Um... We didn't see no restrictions or anything. So make a long story short. We set it up and we put it on the roof. And guess what happened? A little golf cart came rolling up. The maintenance guy, he said, hey, y'all can't put that structure up, right? I said, oh, really? Can't put the structure? You're not even supposed to put any type of sheds, um, porches, decking, none of that. Now, I could walk through this whole place and I see some nice decking. I could even turn to my right and see sheds, decking, and all that. But I know, I know it is what it is. Never, it, nevertheless, we will still push through. So that evening, I spent that evening putting it up, that evening taking it back down. So I took it down and then I made a temporary run for the chickens, but I tucked it behind the RV so you can see it from the road, right? Needless to say, I knew the time was slowly drifting where we're losing time and, and we weren't able to close on a certain piece of property that we expected again for the time frame, but we still pushing on so sometimes you got to pivot in life sometimes life does not give you everything you want when you want it how you want it the way you want to do it and even though you plan even though you budget even though you think of all the alternative even though you get insight from others sometimes things just don't work out the way you want them. and it is what it is but what you have to do you have to learn to pivot and keep on pushing so fast forward to yesterday yesterday I said, I got to get these chickens out. You want to know why? Because a little bit, the smallest, we call them a little bit, the smallest chicken has now definitely showed that it's a rooster. The smallest chicken is the one that starts all this trouble in my little squad of chicks. Now, we have confirmed that we have five roosters out of the nine. We ordered ten. Five of the chickens are roosters. And guess what Lil' Big first thought, Lil' Gigi said, what's that noise? So Lil' Big go, <coughs> sound like he got a sore throat. But then come yesterday morning, we got awakened by, <coughs> cover blown. The first thing the maintenance guy say, the only reason why we're alive, you're not really allowed to have chickens here. Even though we can have dogs, we can have, I, I've, I've seen dogs the size of little cars. And they can bark one time, which they bark consistently. 
but we can't have chickens okay chickens are pretty quiet but i get it no roosters okay so the crack of dawn yesterday little bit go crowing and a little bit don't stop so i feed a little bit to try to keep a little bit going meanwhile i'm on the dash to try to find a location that i can move the chicks to so a friend of the family said you can bring them out to our family so this video that you're watching you're watching parts and pieces of the new home for our chickens it's temporary but we made it do what it do and they seem so happy so i hope you all enjoy i hope you all enjoy watching them and the journey continues we just pushing on so just make sure you pivot in life when things change you gotta change with them and don't be discouraged because you can do it and you can grow and you can continue to grow so y'all be blessed be well and don't forget to keep on growing grow So it just rained that day. Um, actually, it was raining at that time. And they enjoyed the rain. They simply enjoyed the rain. Now look at this explorer. Always defying the odds, trying to find a way to just do what she do. Miss Creator. This was one of our large, larger uh, hens. And she don't play. All roots were back down with her. She don't play. Never thought watching chicken should be so fun, man. Who would think watching chicken? So we made a little roof, and they getting acclimated to their new environment, and they are really loving it. Do y'all see the beautiful colorations of the beautiful French moraines? Man, they're beautiful. The roof is starting to get the golden crest. And look at this roof. Got to shake his tail. But... Beautiful bird. Look at the stands. They baby. They're not even full grown. That's a pretty girl right there. Pretty girl is beautiful. Right now she's showing me another side of her that she pretty. Get it, girl. See a scratch. Come on, girl. Get it, girl. Look at that girl on display trying to get her groove on, her scratch on. I see you. 